Oh, he's got it away. Good cricket. Well, what a good start. First sweep, and he gets past the man. Caught him by surprise a bit. It's going close to the road, but it'll be very close. It's there. Very good, intelligent batting. The man at backward point got a bit of a shock. Once that was in the World Cup. 1983. Out. He's got it. Oh, what a fieldsman. Has to be Mark Waugh. 100 catches in one day at the National. That was a ripper. That was going for four. It was going to the gap. Threw out the right hand. Remained poised. It was a great catch. Well, basically the only thing he's had to do all day, Mark Waugh. He didn't bat. He's been out there practicing his soccer skills a bit in the field and just... Uh, generally wandering around the place but boy when he was needed didn't he do it easily it's gone for it and it's it going it's going and it's gone good calling in chapel tremendous batting just walking out of the dressing room against harvey who's bowled superbly he's hit it as straight as a die as clean as a whistle it's gone straight off harvey's oh it could be a run if he hits we hit he doesn't would have been a tragedy, really. It went off Harvey's boot. Steve Wall came in quickly, couldn't find the timber. Harvey's uh, struggling a bit here. Hit him pretty hard. Popped it away. That's okay. Well run. That's good cricket. Good change of pace by Harvey, but he got some bat on it. That's all you need to do. He's putting his bat on his shoulders. 16 off eight. Harvey, can he hit another six? He smacked it down the ground. They look for two. At Simons, it'll be dicey. Here he comes. He'll be gone. Surely he's out. It's worth the effort. They still get one run. The end of a wonderful innings from Grand Flower. Simons, the 12th man, a brilliant fieldsman under pressure. No sign of a fumble. Perfect throw. And Harvey. He streaked. Catch. He's got him. What a catch. Oh, what a match winning catch. They call him the freak and he's done something freakish just at the right time. He streaked, struck that beautifully. Harvey dived to his left and took a super catch. Because the ball wasn't hit straight at Harvey. He had to move to his left and it was travelling pretty quickly. Excellent catch. The goalkeeper diving away to his left. And I think he realises what he's just done. He's probably won the match for Australia. So it's McGrath from the River End. Really on strike for the first time this summer. Oh, he's got it away. Good cricket. Well, what a good start. You're facing McGrath for the first time. You need 15 off the over. You take a chance. You move across the offside and you chip him away. Well, certainly it was a big gamble. And Glenn McGrath had it pretty well on line. I think it had to uh, get to him on the full. It hadn't got to him on the full. Probably would have just missed off stump. But uh, it is risky because if McGrath produces the Yorker, you're in big trouble and you're going to look extremely foolish. Reverend off five. Boundary off this ball. They'll be right in again. He's got it away. They've got to go for two. Go on. McGrath's in the road. Keep going. They keep going. He stumbles. The throw's just slow and he's home. So he's gone again, he's done it, they, they can win this now. They certainly can win it. Second time he's moved across and chipped it. This is a guy that hasn't batted this summer. As you say, heroes can be made in this situation, but they're not home yet. And now, he's tried it twice and he's got away with it. The question is, does he keep going? Does he go to the well once more? Because McGrath is probably thinking to himself, well, I'm going to avoid the Yorker now. I'm going to pitch a bit shorter. In fact, what they're now doing is pushing the fine leg back and bringing up the mid on and saying to Marilia, all right, the boundaries now are straight down the ground if you think you're good enough. He's got it down there, but this time it was attended through the offside, a single. That's good enough. Woo! Wow. What a finish. What a run chase. Oh, miss. Charge. He's got it square. They go for two. Have to come back. Oh, they don't. They do now. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Why didn't they go for two? 
Two runs will tie it for Zimbabwe. But somehow or other, he's basically got to hit a four. First time on show here in Australia. He's taken 11 off the over with shots you've never seen before. Final delivery. They won three to win, two to tie. They want to win it, Zimbabwe. They deserve to win it, really. Here's McGrath. Got it. Oh, no, they won't get there. Miss hit. So, in the end, Australia maintain their winning run, but what a wonderful effort by Zimbabwe. I think the crowd will be slightly disappointed when they realise what a great run chase this was that they didn't win. Six to 301 after 50 overs. Brilliant, really, really, really not our batsman. What a finish.